G'day, welcome back. It's the second day of cutting hay. Four loads yesterday from the lease block. One this morning from the lease block. Now three loads here. Eight loads in total, all going to a dairy farm over at Horarada. Uh, 200 and, uh, 205, 4, 3, 203 bales, something like that. Um, yeah, it's good, going well. So we've just got this, this paddock here that we baled last night and another one over the road, one that's uh, been freshly baled as well. So that's good. And then uh, only, only gonna have one more paddock to cut and bale. And then that's all our hay done for this year. Um, Here we're loading up is just straight Italian, Italian ryegrass. Hopefully he can get through this gate. I don't know if I heard of taking a truck and trailer through here. 12 foot gate, coming off the lane. We should be alright hopefully. We'll find out really shortly if we're not. going to work. The ground's nice and dry, it slid quite easily. Sitting here on the side of the road, uh, waiting for this truck last load. Thought I'd just explain why we're cutting hay uh, and doing this. So it's not we're not making a heck of a lot of money out of it. It just suits our system um, twofold, probably. So first one is we grow a heck of a lot of grass in November, December, and then with our policy of selling store stock, we um, we destock kind of starting in December right the way through until mid-January so come this time middle to end of January have a lot of um, tag a lot of rough feed feed that's not that good for um, for lambs 
and then for flushing ewes either. So we cutting hay, getting rid of it, or selling it, and then the regrowth is perfect for lambs rotating around, like our ewe lambs we've got here, replacement ewe lambs, and for flushing ewes, and um, well, the earlies will be starting in a couple of weeks flushing. Um, we're probably going to add a bit of barley, a bit of grain to that flushing system as well, just with how dry things are. Um, we should throw that in there to keep things going. So yeah, that's the main reason. And then tidies place up. Uh, we don't have to deal with the tag in the winter. And then so all the pastures are pretty well groomed for lambing come um, August, September next year. This year. Next season. Yep. Still waiting. Still waiting. Looking at Instagram. And um, man, the farmers in Europe are protesting hard. And it puts our wee protest to shame. They, uh, man, they're going for it. But um, it's interesting how this is all just happening right across the globe. Every country is facing the same sort of, if they haven't faced it, they're kind of just getting into it. Um, facing the same sorts of issues. So thoughts with those guys and uh yeah let's just see where all, where it all ends up right truck's here ready to go we'll get this guy loaded up and uh that'll be it that'll be good the last load very good 205 bales over the last couple of days, so good to get them off. Now to put the post rammer on the tractor and do some summer fencing. <laughs> back home now all done cutting hay it's good good job done um one thing i was going to mention that if you subscribe to the channel follow along we're going to shoot over to where these bales have gone and uh, do a video on their winter bale grazing for dairy cows uh i don't know when that'll be in the winter sometime during july um i've also got a guy who's on the wymac lanky trust here in wymac with me um he's doing bale grazing as well so we might try and do a um Go and interview both of those guys and see how they do it and um, see if there's any subtle differences between their two systems, which would be quite interesting. So that'll about do it for today. I might pick this video up tomorrow. Right, next day up here at the main water tank. That's well, the end of the next day actually. I uh, went to town, did a few jobs. Um, we're doing away with this, the old manual indicator and went and got myself a Gallagher tank level system uh, line of sight to the house pretty much so the house is down there I reckon it can go 10k so I'm holding my breath and hoping this works um, got it all set up at home all we've got to do is put the put the piece on here on the tank and drop the thing down and uh, yeah fingers crossed it'll work we shall find out shortly That's our sensor, down inside the tank, solar panel on there, antenna, runs down to the house, and I've got it connected up to my phone, so I'll show you what it's like interface on my phone. So here it is here, top tank, 31%, signal strength weak, but it's getting a signal, so that's good. Device power, uh, yeah, so it's 31% full this tank, it's because the the hill house tank or the other stock water tank is opened i've got it set on a so it comes down to about half full and then it opens and it'll drain the top part of this tank so but we'll shoot down that way check those cows make sure they've got water i think they will um but yeah system's working as it should which is good so the water flowing in here is just from the intake uh, i don't have the pump going so just from the gravity feed intake working working well Morning, another day, down at the lease block. Early ewes are coming in for dipping. We're gonna run these across. Alfie's being a right pain in the bum. Uh, I'm gonna run them across, dip them, then I'm gonna take the dip down to my father-in-law's to sheep milking. He is, um, they're drying off today, so they're gonna dip everything. Boy, we goose, other way.
Come on, girls. Other way. Quiet, fuck! Come on, girls. You know where to go. Cuz, all I go. All I go, cuz. Come on, girls. I know you're hungry. Sick of eating dry wheat bix. Come on. Right, so you in this paddock, now if he's being a right pain in the bum, we'll go and get her. Set the, set the sprayer up. Right, got this dip all set up. So if you don't know how these work, this is an elite, elite, plow. An electro dip. I can't get my words out. Uh, so we've got our pump and tank set up over here on the trailer. That'll just sit there. So we've got our feed line to the pump, our main pressure line to the dip, and then there's all these valves and pressure switches and stuff. And then uh, bench guys, so sensors in here. So when a sheep runs past, it'll open up the solenoid and spray the sheep. And then when it finishes running past, um, it'll shut off and then the return, the part, the chemical will return through the blue hose back into the tank and it just cycles around like that. Works really, really well. Um, yeah, pretty grateful to be able to use this. This is a father-in-law's one, so it's, uh, it's awesome. So we'll run these used through. I've got to treat a couple with fly before they run through the dip. Um, yeah, not too many, but just, well, I did a couple the other day, managed to catch them in the paddock, but. I think there's two out there to do, so we'll do them and then crank this thing up. So crush to cut the use, got our pump started. All we do now, oh we've got our battery connected, so all we do now is turn this this here will pressurize system. And now if we do this, put a hand over the eye, way it goes. In the front gate, that's just the pressure switch. So if you lose pressure, that front gate will stop. Right, go back. Get over. Get over. <laughs> Come on, girls. Hop, 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 hop. Get out. Get up, cuz. Get up, cuz. Get up, Elfie. Come on, girl. <laughs> Walla go! Walla go! Walla go, you're in the wrong pen. Walla go! Walla go, Jasper. Walla go, Jasper. Good oh boy, sit down. So they've all run through once, but we've still got some chemical left. Um, it's not quite putting on the desired amount, so we've got time, we'll run them back through again. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I don't know, if they have to run through a second time, they might be better, they might be worse. We'll give it a go, and at least get, use up all the chemical. 
and they give, they give them a good dosing. So run them through twice, should all be pretty good. Treated three, four with uh, the fly, so um, yeah, I'll run them back over the road, put them back in their paddock, and uh, hopefully that'll be it. So fly down here. All right, wander them over, put them in the paddock over near the hedge over there. Follow go. Just get them behind. Elfie. You fellas stay there, eh? I'm gonna go get myself a pot, uh, coffee and a muffin. The wind in Oxford, go to the pie shop. So I lost audio on this last clip but I was just saying that I spent the afternoon top the paddock for Kelly thistles and then shot up to the main water tank, started the petrol pump, just trying to keep up, uh, fill the tanks right up for the cows, make sure they've still got enough water. And then, uh, yeah, on Instagram I see uh, that the Irish farmers have started joining into the protest as well. So, um, interesting times ahead, seeing all the... Yeah, the whole of the UK or the whole of the EU really protesting. So let me know in the comments uh, if it's affecting you guys and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.